Okay, so the, the next use case here is uh, something called Tableau Bridge. Now, again, I mentioned that there's two product offerings from Tableau. You have Tableau Server, which is a, a version of Tableau Server that you host yourself, either on-premise or within a private or public cloud environment, but effectively you install Tableau um, and you're, you're responsible for maintaining its, its network connectivity. The other use case is the, is the SaaS offering from Tableau, which is Tableau Online. Uh, and this is always deployed to the cloud. Um, but the challenge with deploying it to the cloud is that it's it's not necessarily going to have access to your on-premise network resources um, if you uh, if you have those resources behind some kind of uh, corporate firewall, perhaps. So in this case, uh, Tableau make a, um, a tool available called Tableau Bridge, uh, which is kind of what we see here on the on the private network side. Um, in this case, you install this Tableau Bridge software to a, a workstation or to a PC, oh sorry, to a workstation or a server within your environment. That then maintains an outbound connection over the web to Tableau Online, but also your internal connections to your, to your database. So effectively, because Tableau Bridge has an outbound connection to your Tableau Online instance, when Tableau Online needs data, uh, it can actually ask that question to Tableau Bridge. Uh, that Tableau Bridge can connect to your data database and it, and it, can, and it can pull in data. Now, in this case, we're actually using Tableau Bridge as a live connection. Uh, so what this means, again, uh, the same with Tableau server live connections, is that when a user accesses the dashboard, that connects to a, a, the semantic data source layer in Tableau, which then connects to Tableau bridge inside your network, which then connects to your database, and it pulls uh, pulls information through that through that pipe into Tableau, so it can be it can be rendered it can be rendered in a dashboard. Now I should actually uh, caveat what I've just said uh, for a few of these examples. Uh, although each time a user generates a user dashboard uh, for a live connection, although it can pull data from your data source, there is some short-lived caching um, that actually does exist within Tableau Server and Tableau Online. Uh, so that caching mechanism uses a caching tool called the Redis. Um, and actually, if you were to try and do the dashboard twice as the same user in quite succession, um, the chances are that you might get a cached version of that dashboard uh, just to speed things up. Um, and again, that caching mechanism is, is configurable. It can be turned on or turned off um, uh, so that you can actually uh, balance the need for up to the second data um, with, with a, a kind of a slight performance boost. So this is, yeah, so this is a, a Tableau Bridge Live connection. 